All right, guys, here we go. I'm going to do an extension. I don't usually do extensions. I'll do bonuses, but I have to do an extension. It was like beating me in my head. That's an awful way to put it, but this is for Virgo or Virgo cross watcher. Very, very, very clear message. It's not going to be for everyone that watches this, but it's super specific. You can also reverse this. This could be another person, but feels like a masculine here. This person came through. I'm talking all night all morning. I even had a dream about this person or I guess who it, it would be. I don't know if this is a Virgo male or if this is <clears throat> just a masculine of any sign, but here we go. It's good. Don't worry. So this is an individual masculine energy who knows you. I'm going to say it like this, like it's another person, but this could very well be the person watching this video. You could be feeling this way about another person. This, this, uh, I want to say Virgo masculine. Okay, so I'm gonna go with my gut. It's very specific. This Virgo masculine here has the almost like utmost respect for someone, okay? This masculine has been quietly observing, has been watching for a little while now, maybe even on and off at first, but lately it's been a lot more, just keeps coming back, keeps coming back. I don't know how, <clears throat> definitely not talking. I don't know how they're observing let me write that down real quick before I forget. There's a lot to talk about. Quietly observing. I was like, we gotta do this message. Some of you are like, spit it out, spit it out, spit it out. <laughs> I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Okay, so it's kind of exciting. The energy is really exciting. It's picking up momentum. Somebody definitely has feelings, maybe even realizing they're, they love someone. This masculine here is like, oh my God. Wow, it's, al it's almost like, someone who's looking at a feminine energy thinking one she's got a very big heart this is a very beautiful feminine inside and out I see who she really is but she also don't take no shit from anybody like emphasis on the not taking shit from anybody part okay I mean this is how this masculine views a feminine is thinking wow but I like that about her she holds her own she stands on her own but she's also got this sweet kind loving side to her but it's also like a strict sweet kind loving she doesn't lead with her emotions she doesn't lead with her heart not that there's anything wrong with people who do that but this feminine that I'm picking up on does not do that although they have it in there but you almost have to you guys ever seen those cakes sorry they're not cakes they're almost like hard chocolate Try to Google them. If I remember to do it, I'll put it in the video up here in like a clip or something. But they're like chocolate hearts and they come with these little, maybe some of you are getting this for Valentine's Day. And you like crack it open and candy falls out or love notes fall out. You know what I mean? They're like hard chocolate. You can get them in pink or like strawberry or milk chocolate, white chocolate, whatever you want, dark chocolate. And that's how this masculine views this feminine, observes this feminine like. I see why she is the way that she is. She deserves a lot of respect. In fact, I actually felt like this masculine was almost comparing her to other feminines that he knows. Maybe even one he's been with. But just kind of, maybe even his own mother. You know, just kind of like, wow. Like, that's the type of woman men look for. At least that's what this ma masculine's thinking. That's the type of woman men look for. Like, that's the type of, you know... And maybe even if he's known this feminine, which I do feel that he's known of her, like they were probably cordial before, okay? This could be somebody who was cordial with you before, vice versa. Not necessarily best friends, not necessarily even romantically ever linked. And I want to say it just like that. Spirit's telling me never romantically linked. However, over time, they've really seen this feminine develop. I'll say they've seen you develop the other way around you know like damn you've really grown into like being someone who's astonishing someone who really blows me away like wow I can't believe who you are I mean they're like blown away and if they know anybody who knows you or anyone especially you hear my grand doggy barking <laughs> she's like let me out uh, she just wants to play so bad mm-hmm if they know anyone who knows you or even dated you in the past, was with you in the past, they inwardly, now I don't know if they've ever stood up for you behind the scenes or told this person off, but they've thought to themselves at least that, damn, how did you ever pick the person that you were with? Like, how did you ever be with them? 
You are so much better than that. You deserve so much more than the type of, I'm hearing men. I got to go with what I'm hearing, guys. I can't just say it to make it fit. I got to, this is a very specific extension and I don't have much longer to talk. So we got to get this out. Um, you know, how did you ever get with the people you got with? You know, you must have like you, you settled or you had low standards, but they see that this feminine has higher standards now and has begun to realize her value. She realizes her worth and it's, it makes her sexier. It makes her more appealing. And not only that, but this masculine also talks about her, AKA you watching this video, unless it's reversed and talks about her to his friends, like other people who may or may not know you and says like, they agree that not only you're sexy, you're attractive, you're outgoing, caring, you've got a big heart, they can tell you're sweet, I'm also hearing freak in the sheets, but like you got a little side to you, but also you'll kick ass. Like, you know, I'm not saying you'll go assault people, but like if you need to defend yourself or the people that you love, you're not afraid. You don't come off as a feminine who is afraid of shit. Nor do you come off as a feminine who tries to be like everyone else. They could tell that you don't necessarily fit in with the crowd. You could call it the Wednesday Adams of the group. You're just different. You're a very different person. You have your own vibe. You, you march to the beat of your own drum. And this is highly, not only commendable, but it's highly attractive to this masculine. And I feel like this individual is like something during this time. I don't know if it's because Valentine's Day is coming up or I don't think that's what it is. It's something, something in the air, or it's just time. But it's almost like the universe has come and I see somebody like slowly opening a curtain in my mind's eye, like in the morning, slowly opening a curtain and the light comes in, but this person's ready for it. It's almost like this person's been asleep for so long and they've been in the darkness for so long, they haven't even realized the type of, or the quality of people that they've been around until now it's like they've had an awakening but a rude one something's happened to make this person step back unless it's you step back and be like what in the hell like i want class i want class but i also want someone who's got some like depth i want someone who's different you know like you are someone to be admired and i think somebody's gonna let you know even if it pisses people off you know even if someone get, i'm hearing a j okay this person's name could start with a j or an L. Mm -hmm. They could be divorced, this person. They could also have children or a child at least. I do think they have children or at least one. And I do think they're divorced. They could even be with someone still, it's possible, but like maybe they're in the middle of a divorce. I don't know, maybe they just found out something. That could be what the freaking aha moment is, you know? Either way, guys, this person came through so strongly last night. Like, I have to talk to you. I want to talk to you. You know, something's been, like, taking them a while to get this out. Like, maybe this is even someone who didn't see your value for so long because of opinions of others, because of slander from others, because of people's lies. I am hearing people may have told lies about you or even tried to make this person not like you because they knew that the potential of you and this person, if y'all ever did get together or ever did kind of get to know each other on a deeper level than more so just cordial, you'd probably be a damn big power couple here. I'm talking like even two entrepreneurs, like two really hard workers, two people who are like money makers, two people who are like go-getters. But this person I feel is connected to you in the spiritual realm and like for some reason they're just now seeing it, okay? They're also just now seeing the true colors of the friends that they've had maybe even long time friends um they've they've seen um just the caliber of people you know if that's the right way to word it it's like they just almost disgusted and appalled by even their i keep hearing friends guys something to do with their friends is really specific here unless it's you it could be something to do with your friends that you're seeing now you're having some sort of aha moment like the company you keep that's what i'm hearing the company they keep it's kind of like oh no wonder this i'm hearing no wonder you want it out no wonder you don't have anything to do with these people or this particular person maybe they know your ex i think they know your ex or something okay anyway um that's what i'm getting i don't want to i don't want to wring out the rag anymore it feels like it's it may even have something to do with friends, though, because dogs can sometimes represent friends. And my grand doggie, she just stopped barking, but that really stood out to me. 
It doesn't always send out to me when she's barking, but it is right now. It's like it doesn't matter. I kept pushing forward. I kept doing this no matter what. I didn't let anything stop me or get in my way or distract me from my message, you know? And I think that's the point. Someone's not going to let something or other people or your ex or their friends or whatever distract them from what they have to say to you. They may even have something to tell you that's not so great, but it's not necessarily going to be a bad thing to you. You'll be happy to hear it. I think you'll be happy to hear something. Maybe you're going to be happy to hear that somebody's finally got your fucking back. Shit. You know, that somebody understands that. I even feel like this person, I know I said I would go, but I'm getting something else. I think this person also knows some females who are really jealous of you, who've had a lot to say, who've had a lot of judgments on you. And um, this person has seen over time, like they have their own two eyes, they have their own mind to think with, and they've also had spiritual awakenings, whereas the people they surround themselves with have not. And they can see it, like they've elevated up out of the illusion they've been under, the spell they've been under, the whatever. And their friends are now changing. Their environment is now changing. They are not the same anymore just as you've gone through this. Now they're getting it. Like they're getting you now. And they want to talk about it. Not only that, they want to tell you that. And if it, I'm just going to throw this out there. If this person themselves does not have feelings for you in that way, I think they respect you. But if they don't have feelings for you romantically or want to be with you in that way, they know someone who does and they may want to talk to you about this person and say hey I think it's a good idea if you give this person a shot you know it's, it could be one of their friends anyway all right I'm gonna let this go there's I feel like there's so many layers to this but it feels exciting it feels like something to get excited about for those of you that this is going to resonate for that it's watching this video that's like this could possibly be my story are they talking about me <laughs> it's like uh well you're gonna see I think you're gonna see this coming week is how I'm hearing it this coming week or in the next few weeks it's gonna be very soon you're gonna see something of it something of it is going to manifest it's going to grow it's going to come into fruition where somebody is going to say something and it's gonna warm your heart it's gonna make you feel really good that you're seen finally for who the fuck you are you're not overlooked anymore it doesn't matter what people say about you because it's obvious that they're jealous it's obvious that they want to keep you down why are they talking about you the way they do because there's something special about you because you emit this light and when you emit light you also attract flies and moths and demons and things that want to try to dim your light and completely put it out but they've been incapable of putting out your light in fact you've just grown brighter and stronger and more respected and more loved and more fierce you've overcome every battle that's been thrown at you and again I want to reiterate that you deserve respect and this person's gonna make sure that you receive the respect that you deserve damn damn I, I feel like saying that too I feel like this person thinks it thinks about you and they're like damn like <laughs> Why am I hearing it like that? Like, damn, damn, she's fine. Like, damn, she's hot. That's sexy. Like, that's sexy. Way to go. It's like a masculine who's proud of a woman here. Just so proud. Like, I would be proud to have you on my arm. I would be proud to call you my girl. Like, you run your own, I'm hearing gang. You run your own gang. You run your own team. Like, you don't need nobody. And it's clear. But people love you for that. They respect you. Which is even more commendable that you're respected for who you are, not what you have, not what you put out for the world, but who you actually are. You're unashamed. And I mean, wow. Wow. You're honest. It's intimidating. But not to this person. Because real recognizes real. That's from a movie. And off the top of my head, I can't remember. I've channeled it before. Now I'm going to go. I, I can't get enough of you. It's like I can't. I just keep going. All right, guys. Love you so much. Thank you for being here with me. And I'll talk to you later.